Okay, so here is a closer look for you at the um, 19th century table clock that we're selling in our auction next week. This is one of a pair that are known to exist, the other being in the Guildhall in London. Um, the one in the Guildhall has its original stand and is on little ormolu feet. I can't see any sign that this has ever had feet, but um, it's possible that if they were a pair that, the other, that this may have had feet, um, but there's no sign of it. So we'll just have a closer look at it. It's covered in bronze on this ebonised base. There is a full condition report in writing on the website already, which goes into quite a lot of detail with the movement. Uh, but we'll just look at the condition of the, the case and, and the dial so you can just see it working as well. Um, so if you have a closer look at the dial there, you can see the automaton at the top here. So you have the blacksmith with his anvil. Um, and the, the linkage, although he's working, the linkage is a little bit loose. There it is, so that's, that's how it should work. And then we'll just operate the half hour, just so that you can see or hear the bells. So it chimes on eight bells or Cambridge chimes. And then on the hour, a figure comes out of this door here and we'll just operate him. So he is missing his striker, which is this here, which just needs reattaching. I don't think he's ever meant to actually hit that bell. There he is, so that's the automaton. It has the full calendar at the bottom here, so you have the day, date, month, the two types of chimes, so the Cambridge chimes chiming on eight, eight bells, or you have the chime or silent setting on here. Very ornate um, spandrels and castings on the dial as well. So that all looks good. And then we'll just have a look around the sides as well. Just wanted to show you the sort of condition. So the ebonised part of the case is slightly dull, but um, I'm not sure whether it was ever highly polished, but um, it's the main impact is on the, the bronze on this. So let's just walk around the side here. Um, you have a, the dragon on the, on the top here, and then the four um, angels holding the globes aloft. So those are all intact. Um, on the side of the case, you have these opening doors, which are gilt bronze again. So that's an access door. So you can have a look inside, so if you just have a look in there with the lighting, that's it. So you can see the chain drive in there as well. Um, this is just another point to note on the side of the case, just some um, splits in the timber that go all the way down here. And we'll go around the back. That's it. So we'll just have a look inside here to this massive brass movement. So, so it's a quarter chiming movement. Huge brass back plate here with these very heavy um, bracing brackets on the side as well. Um, it chimes on eight bells um, at plus a gong on the back here as well. And there's all the linkage on the top to the automaton. So as you can see, it's it's ticking quite happily and it's running, but it hasn't been serviced for at least 50 years. So um, it could would certainly benefit from a service and a clean. Um, but that, that certainly all looks original and untampered with. That's the inside, and we'll just have a look at the other end as well. So again, the same thing on the other end is that this just this crack in in the sideboards here. So, but on this side, it's less serious. Just just that one short crack there, and 
slight ones here and you can just see where the timber on the case is just opening up slightly there but um, not too serious at all again this this side opens so you can have a look inside huge movement on this and really the, the, one of the most difficult things to convey with this in the photos that we took was the sheer size of the thing and it's so heavy it's it's um, really too heavy for two people to move it's a, it's a four-man job this one to, to move around there is the key which seems to be the original which is beautiful heavy gauge brass key And there it is. So, estimate is between 25 and 50,000. I've never seen another one coming up for sale anywhere in the world. And I'm only aware of one other anyway, which will never be sold as it's in the Guild Hall. So, here's your chance to, uh, to get the other one. Thank you very much.